Hello there. As another holiday season dawns upon us, I just have one thing to say, and that's fuck Christmas. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how the holiday season and Christmas isn't the same for everybody out there. Uh, for me, it's a different experience, even though I was raised um, Christian, Catholic actually, I you know, the illusion of Christmas was broken for me at a young age uh, due to people's alcohol use and abuse of each other and beyond, and that factors heavily into how I deal with and view Christmas today, but part of this video and part of what I've been going through and doing is steps towards self-improvement to help work through and address my trauma in different ways. So now I'm working on getting through my trauma and trying to let go of those past experiences that I had in concerns with any holiday. That way I don't mar my current and future possible experiences with things that were out of my control. I can't control now, but I can control how I'm reacting to them. And that's something that I can work on and try to grow from. And if you're currently drinking, chances are you're probably not going to try and take those steps because you're still intoxicating and burying. You know, the holidays can lead to increased alcohol consumption, so I just urge everyone to be careful this season. Make sure you're not drinking and driving. Uh, be safe. Your family members, whether you like being around them or not, they probably don't want to see you see your life end so i'm just gonna put it like that um i'm a recovering alcoholic i've been drinking since i was in high school i'm now 42 and i've been sober for 19 months which is a huge feat for me the farthest i've gone before in that time span for the past 20 plus years is only seven months so from seven all the way up to more fingers than i have to count have you been sober in the past 20 years if you're around my age for more than you can count on both hands. <laughs> if not, not enough months, you should probably like reassess your relationship with alcohol and why you're consuming so much. Some other notes about Christmas are how it could be an environmental disaster. Um, you know, we so much holiday wrapping paper and gift packaging we go through, as well as the overspenditure from an economic standpoint. Um, a lot of people spend a lot of money on the holiday and it can a lot of times put it on credit and you know put themselves behind just to participate which really isn't fair and inclusive. Christmas really is an inclusive thing and I like the idea of like a festivus or something that's more inclusionary where people aren't excluded based on religion where, uh, you know, it's a winter solstice holiday where we can all just get together, um, knuckle down and celebrate our path through another cold season. It's really what it should be here in the north, kind of, um, you know, but for me, like, I decided to quit punishing myself with things from the past um, that have happened in my life and letting those control how I move through the rest of my life. Um, part of quitting alcohol has been reassessing how I, I guess my relationships with myself, the world around me, the people in my life, and what's healthy and what's not. And those are things that I think about a lot around the holidays and how to with how to cope with the holidays and you know where am I comfortable, where am I not, and it takes time to work through things before you can reassess comfort, but you shouldn't let it hold you back. So I was being a little harsh when I said fuck Christmas, but what we need is a replacement that is more inclusionary, brings more people into the fold, drops religious connotations, and more of a American winter solstice celebration. Getting away from making gifts a standing point for kids and like maybe more teaching them giving from a different aspect not from the consumer side but from the communal and relationship side of things uh, something we could work towards so 
starting to, I've been talking for a minute here, so we're going to try a new brew. Uh, this is another brew dog. This is called Bake Up Call, and it's their partnership with Fantasy Cupcakes. They did this one, uh, they're down in Columbus there, I guess they're right around the corner from the brewery. So they're working together, Brew Dog and Fantasy Cupcake are neighborhood friends, and we can't get enough of their freshly baked cupcakes. Located in the heart of old downtown Canal, Winchester, Ohio, they built a thriving business from scratch and are proud to offer high quality baked goods. From lemon to chocolate, pair a cupcake with a bake up call and you're sure to taste the decadent chocolate and strawberry notes. So I um, have already tried this one and I'm very happy with it. Actually, I haven't poured it into a glass yet. Ooh, that's a nice crack there. Let's see how this. Oh, that's a nice color. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, malty, stouty goodness. Holy cow. Ooh. Look at that carbonation, looks great on it. Fantastic, nice can. Uh, coffee, strawberry dark. Yeah, I like it. It's like a almost stoutish. It's more of a, just a dark, but on the border you can smell the strawberry and chocolate right off the top. Very aroma heavy. You get that sharp strawberry aroma. Mmm, that smells good and then like an underlying chocolate tone. Man, that is <laughs> phenomenal. <clears throat> Holy cow. This is one of the most impressive beers um, non-alcoholic I've had to date. Um, it's right up there with that Lamb of God Ghost Walker. Uh, that's one of my favorites. That Lagunitas IPA is really good. Get yourself some of this. Drink it for the holiday. Cut your alcohol out. Cut it down. Get ready to go dry in January. And start off a new year in a new way. Holy cow. Coffee, strawberry. Yeah, it's like uh, you get that sharp tart, a little bit of tartness, strawberry right off the front. And then the under bitter tones of some like chocolate maltiness washes back after that. So very tasty. Mm. If you haven't tried any of the Brew Dog uh, non alcoholic beers, they're fantastic. This one is, ooh, man. I, this is a fantastic winter drink. You don't have to intoxicate yourself, you can just enjoy it without hindering or killing brain cells or hurting yourself in any way so it's non-self-destructive it's a great way to have a nice beer oh yeah good carbonation in that so it's a bake up call from uh brew dog so it's a good one so as i've said fuck christmas if you don't like it I'm there with you, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to continue to hold myself back from enjoying it with others, so. This has been Reckless. My name is Chris. Here's to looking for everyone to have a little bit more of a sober holiday, and to bring in the new year a little more wrecked less. Thanks for watching.